So we're finally offshore. Duck hunting season's finally over, so we can finally go on the boat on the weekends. And right now we got two little white bucktail jigs out on these two spinners. And we're just slow trolling them. And we picked up one Sierra Max so far. That's in the cooler, Victor caught that. So we're trying to troll for little bullet bonita and we're gonna put those out and troll those for hopefully some kings and we'll see what else we can catch. So stay tuned. One of the bait rods just went off Brooks on. Let's see if I can get whatever was over there. We ran over something on the radar. It looked like a big school of something. Oh baby, this is a big boy. He's big. He's gonna get smoked. If the king eats this, it's gonna be a big one. Nothing less than 20 pounds. So we changed up our tactics. We're now in 245 feet on a wreck. And Vic is jigging with a vertical jig. And he just got a hit, so that's a good thing. That was his first drop. We're drifting faster. One last drop, then we'll move. You got something? Yeah. Something small? Yeah. Well, we got the target species, just not the right size. Uh, let's say, uh, crazy. That's an, either a uh, banded rudderfish or a lesser amberjack. Both hooks in his mouth. Noise. So this is not a greater amberjack. It's either a lesser or a banded rudderfish. I don't know if they're the same thing. We're an Almaco. I always forget the difference between the three, but little guy. Definitely not Let the big go. AJ we're looking no. for though. Down he goes. So we move to a different wreck. First drop. First drop, Vic hooked up. Some Here sort. he comes. Another one. Another one right around the same size. Another one. So what is it? That's got to be an Almaco. Look at how high his fin is. I'm pretty sure that's an Almaco, Jack. Almaco? You want to keep him? Do you want to eat him or no? Not really. Okay, here he goes. Bye, little dude. Kirk wants to take a swing with the jigging rod. Check out those snazzy leggings. Shout out to Bliss Splash. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, there you go. Damn, that hit really high up, didn't it? I literally, oh, he just came off. Did he? Are you sure? Keep reeling. He came off. You got hit that high up? We finished cleaning the boat and Victor just cleaned our only edible fish which was the Sierra mackerel and I'm going to do a catch and cook with it and right now we're actually going to slice up a couple pieces, dip it in soy sauce and eat it right now. Sashimi style. How is it? Really good. Like this is mackerel and it's such white meat and it's really good. Yeah and most people would never try it would they? No right off the fillet table in the soy sauce right from the boat caught only a couple hours ago so good hey guys welcome back to the kitchen so tonight i'm going to cook the sierra mackerel that victor caught the other day on the boat so here's the ingredients you're going to need so here's my fish you're going to need some butter a lemon salt and pepper heavy cream parsley garlic and some scallions so tonight I'm gonna to bake my fish in the oven with a cream sauce. So I'm gonna put my butter in the microwave and melt it so I can make my sauce. I have my butter nice and melted and now I'm gonna add a half a cup of the heavy cream. Now what I'm doing is I'm making this sauce and I'm pouring it over the fish, I'm gonna cook it in it. And then I'm gonna 
pour it over pasta. So I kind of want a lot of sauce so that when we put it over the linguine, we have a lot of sauce. I'm gonna use the juice from a half of a lemon. Squeeze it over a strainer, you don't wanna get the seeds in there. Now I'm gonna add the garlic that I chopped up nice and fine. I'm going to lightly salt and pepper the fish before I pour, pour the sauce on. I chopped up my scallions and I'm just going to sprinkle them over the fish. And now I'm going to pour the sauce over the fish. Now we're ready for the oven, which I had preheating at 400 degrees. I set the timer for 10 minutes, but I'm gonna check on them probably in like five minutes and we'll see if we, they need more than that. Now I'm also gonna put my linguine in because they take about 10 minutes too. Here's a really handy trick. I actually let them cook for 13 minutes, but I'm gonna take them out now. Alrighty, so here's the finished product. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe.